guys, what's up? My name is Blanca, for those that don't know, and I upload every Wednesdays, and here I am today, and I am doing this really cute pink, the cut crease, and a nude lip like always, because y'all girl don't got money to be spending on lipsticks right now, but it's still cute or whatever. But yeah, guys, grab a snack, grab your blanket, and keep on watching. Thank you. We're starting off with adding concealer on my eyelids. And today, I am not doing a voiceover just because, I don't know, kind of like talking. Sometimes I like, I, the times that I've done a voiceover and, um, like, I don't know, I just want to talk. <laughs> so, yeah. So I go in with my concealer and then I'll just apply it on my lid and then just spread it all over. So today I didn't do my eyebrows because I haven't gone anywhere yet. So I will do my eyebrows last today. Well, after I apply my foundation. And um, so I will just spread the concealer all over my lid. That way, I can move on with my eyeshadow. So yeah, guys, how's everybody? I've been busy. So I'm getting married in June, so I've been busy. And, you know, this whole wedding stuff, wedding planning, and um, it's a lot. I mean, now I'm just, like, starting to really... Not feel stressed. I try to, you know, spread things, like spread things out that what I have to do, but it's a lot, you know, it's, it's, it's a lot of work. But yeah, I'm really excited. We've been engaged for, well, I know you guys heard me say my husband in the past videos. So we are married civilly, but, you know, I want the whole church ceremony and, you know, the beautiful reception and stuff. So, um, so yeah, so we're doing that in June. We got married in September, but it was just, you know, family. It was something really simple, nothing crazy. So, so yeah. Eyelids. and yes i already i already moisturized my face and down on my neck with my cetaphil moisturizer this one has spf so you know i don't have to reapply sunscreen and stuff like that all right so i'm going in with my sweet oasis palette today just because i want something the colors on here are just so beautiful like i love the blues and the pinks like pink yeah pink purple so um i haven't thought about what i want to do today i might just do pink yeah i might just do pink so so yeah um i didn't do a video last time well i didn't upload last the last time because i just i've we've had a lot of a lot of things going on and you know it's it's really hard you know it's really hard having to you know be on camera and you know when you're not really feeling yourself so i don't want to be like super boring and be on camera because i'm not feeling myself and i'm not you know feeling the the vibe around me i'm just it's not it's not gonna work out so i was like nope i have a lot of things to do i really i really can't right now so um but I'm not making it a habit. I, you know, I'm not letting things get in the way or distract me of, you know, um, success. All right, so I'm going in with the Love Struck, Love Struck, Love Struck, and I will apply this all over my lid, just as a base. So. So yeah, I mean, like I was talking about the whole wedding situation. Since I rant to everybody, I rant to my family about it. I rant, well, 
not really my coworkers because my coworkers are are that to me. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, I've I've rant to my family and stuff about it about the wedding. So it's just like you know, I'm getting <laughs> I'm getting them on I'm getting on their nerves because I so I got engaged. Um, I got engaged 2019. So this planning planning of the wedding has been has been a lot has been you know has been on our on our plate for a really long time. I was originally supposed to get married September and you know with the whole covid and stuff we had to postpone and then all this other stuff. So but <laughs> this time ain't nobody ain't no nothing stopping us cuz this time we are getting married for sure for sure. We is getting, we tying the knot this time. So, ain't nothing gonna stop us this time. So, I love this pink. It's like super light, super cute. But yeah, so, I mean, it's a work in progress. Getting married, I mean, it's beautiful. It's, it's a lot, but it does bring a lot of, you know, stress, a lot of planning and stuff. Up and I am bringing it out here, and then I'll fix it. Um, things have been busy. I mean, um, just a lot of. It's hard. It's hard being an adult. I remember I was, what, fifteen, sixteen. I was like, man, I can't wait till I'm an adult. Now I'm just like, <sighs> I wish I can take those words back. I mean, it's a lot, you know, having to grocery shop and clean the house and with a task and do things that you want have fun but it's like oh i have chores to do at home you know ain't nobody gonna come do them for me so it's it's really hard y'all it's really hard out here can't wait till i get a maid and then you know get all oh wow i've never i don't know why but this color is so beautiful like Wait, oh, it's this one. Look how like shimmery that thing is. It's so nice, but that's for like the nighttime. I am. I'm actually gonna go with grocery shopping today, so I don't want to do something too like, like you know. I don't want to catch some eyes. I don't want you to be staring. All right, so then I am going in. All right, so I went in with the love struck and I applied it all over my my lid. I don't know. I kind of don't really want to be saying step by step everything that I'm doing. I just want to talk. I want to rant. I want to vent. I want to rant. I want to, uh, you know. I just had a lot. Like I've had a lot of, a lot of things going on. All right. So I'm going in with picture perfect, and um, you know, just applying it. So I want. I don't know what I want today. So I want to do like a cut crease. So let's let's just make something up today. I don't know what I want today. So I'm just applying it down here. I don't know. Today I don't really. I just want to do my makeup and just rant. I don't want to be going step by step. Y'all know the drill. Y'all know what's next. Y'all know how to do this. So, life is hard. Life is difficult. I mean, <clears throat> so, I don't have any kids. Don't plan on having them anytime soon. I want to wait till I'm, like, really, like, stable, mentally prepared. I feel like I'm not mentally prepared. I feel like I'll break down if the baby starts crying. <laughs> I feel like the baby's going to cry and I'm going to cry along with the baby because I'm going to be super stressed. And, yeah, so... I feel like the thing is that about me when I'm like super stressed super overwhelmed I start crying like I don't know I just I'm like the biggest cry baby ever I'm mad I cry I'm sad I cry obviously um, I'm happy I cry I look at a movie I'm watching a movie I cry so if you ever catch me with tears in my eyes mind your business and keep walking because I don't know I'm an emotional person like I may seem like I'm not but 
deep, deep inside. I'm, I'm emotional as a, as a, as it can be. I'm super emotional. Just do their own thing. Like this eyebrow is like really nice and shape and super like cute. This one is just like, the hairs are always like weird on this one. Like it stops right here, like over here. And then this one stops like over here and it's not, it's not that I over plug because I don't over plug. So my trick is um, for those girls that, you know, are struggling on growing their eyebrows because that was one of those. Um, so my biggest trick is whenever you're trying to pluck your eyebrows, whenever you're trying to pluck your eyebrows, do not just pluck without anything like like this. Don't touch your eyebrows. What I do, my biggest recommendation is um, filling them in with your uh, eyeliner, whatever you use, gel liner, um, gel thing, whatever you guys use. Um, first, fill them in, you know, clean them up with your concealer, how you normally do it, and then start plucking around them. Like, because if you just pluck with nothing on it, you're going to over pluck, and then you're going to look funny. Because... I used to do that for the longest time and I forgot I actually don't remember where I saw that I actually saw um, I think it was a YouTube video or I don't know or Instagram I don't remember where I saw it that you know that's like a, that's like a good trick that you can do because um, my thing is that once I see little hairs like growing over here I get so anxious and I have to pluck. I don't care. I have to pluck them and um, plug, pull, whatever, tweeze. I say plug. And um, yeah, so that's my biggest recommendation. If you're ever going to do your eyebrows, do not just, you know, just pluck without anything on them. Please have your eyebrows filled in. If not, you're going to walk around like, you're gonna walk around with like a literally a a squiggly line on your on your face because that's how I used to be, and I'm thankful for that video that I found that you know. Um, now I don't overpluck or anything. So this is giving me cherry blossom vibes. So I live in Virginia. Should I say that? No one stalk me, please. Y'all don't know where. Don't stalk me. Anyways, because I've had some stalkers in my life, and that's creepy. Um, So I live in Virginia, and um, the cherry blossoms came out in D.C. And we live, like, what, like, mm, I'm not going to tell y'all how far I live from D.C., but I live a couple minutes away from D.C. Um, and <laughs> I've had some stalkers in my life, and it's scary, it's weird, it's creepy, don't be a stalker because that's not cute that's that's creepy i've had stalkers come to my jobs i've had stalkers stalk me i don't know like it's creepy af and you know y'all need to find a hobby not a hobby of stalking find a hobby of i don't know become a gardener or a painter i don't know go wash your grandma's car don't stalk that's creepy anyways i live couple minutes away from dc and um i told tony i was like hey like you know i've never gone to dc to see the cherry blossoms like everybody's talking about them like you know the old folks be talking about them and then i mean i'm at that stage where i'm just like you know what i just want to look at just want to walk around have fun look at things like sightsee whatever and um not old folks sorry if i offend if i offend anybody but you know, the ladies, the, the grandmas, they'd be like, oh, the cherry blossoms or whatever. Um, So I told him, I'm like, hey, like, you know, take me to D.C. Like, let's go see the cherry blossoms. So we go like on a Friday and, you know, I thought, you know, everybody's at work. Everybody's, you know, coronavirus, COVID, whatever, you know, people don't want to come out. It was super packed. Like, we couldn't even find parking. Washington, D.C. is, like, the worst place to go in a vehicle because you can't 
you're like moving freaking five miles per hour you're going super slow and you know there's people everywhere you might hit somebody and catch a charge so um i told him i'm like hey like let's go to dc so we went you know we didn't find parking so i was like i was like you know what let's just go let's just go get some food because it's going to be hard to find parking and i need to use a bathroom and i hate using public restrooms and um yeah so anyways we didn't get off the car we just you know drove past the cherry blossoms but they were really beautiful they were really nice i'm not sure they're still there i'm sure they're, they don't i don't think they last that long i'm not sure so it's funny he's like well i already took you there i was like we drove past it because i was like can we go again and then like leave our car at some park and then just walk we would have to walk like probably like 20 minutes 30 minutes to get there but it's okay the weather's nice so yeah after all we I mean we didn't go i'm just like whatever i don't care anymore there would be some time but people have i mean we're basically one of those people you know like let's go you know covid you know but people were still out there i mean good for them they were able to see them i wasn't really because i wanted to take some pictures and stuff but it's okay by the yacht life like just over here i'm going to leave this eye for right now so i am going to use a really thin brush for this like a really small brush just because the concealer so i'm going in with like a brush like this thin so, how did that person do it? Oh. Let me see. <laughs> Hopefully, I don't mess this up. I won't. Alright, so... They went like this. Right? And then the person went like upwards. And they were looking around. Like that. <gasps> did I do that right? All right, so I guess that's where my crease, yeah, that's where my, <gasps> dang, that's really big. Okay, that's where my crease folds. So, all right, so I did the whole eye looking. So that's where my crease folds, you see? So then I just start outlining. So all this time I've been doing it wrong. <laughs> but. I mean, that's the whole thing of learning how to do makeup. You know, you learn new things. There's just so many new techniques that you do now. It's like, my ears are so itchy. There's so many new techniques now that you can do. And I'm just like, oh my gosh, I'm so behind. Like, let me hop on the, let me hop on with the new trend and stuff. So... That is looking mighty good. That looks cute. I feel like everything looks cute. Okay. So I'm applying my... I'm just applying the my concealer and I'm just I want to see how far I want to cut my crease though I don't want to cut it too much I'm going to go in with Private Villa just to make it a little lighter because I don't want to lose the light tone. Like I want you to be able to see that I have a, a cut crease. 
Oh uh, well, yeah, I want to use like a lighter tone from here than over here. add the color on my inner corners first guys i don't know so after i was thinking after the wedding to cutting my hair because my hair is just super super damaged and as much as i really love my hair i just want it to be like nice and healthy but i just started i died i started dyeing my hair at a really young age so um it's really difficult for my hair to you know be be okay all right so i'm just curling my lashes before applying the lashes <laughs> i'm curling my lashes to apply the lashes and um but yeah so i started dyeing my hair at a really young age i mean i'm still young <laughs> i'm only 22 years old but i'm saying as in like i started really young and then i put a lot of heat on my hair so right now I have my hair blow dried. I love the blow dryer. I feel like it does less damage. But like I would use the flat iron a lot. So that messed me up a lot. So I try to hold this for at least a minute because my lashes are like really straight and it's really hard. So I was telling Tony, I was like, hey, after the wedding, I think I'm going to have to cut my hair because it's really damaged. So I'll probably have to cut my hair and like buy extensions because I am going to miss long hair. So I will have to find a really good website and yeah, maybe you guys can come with me when I go get my hair cut. I'll probably have to cut it like, I don't know, really short. I'm gonna have to because my hair is in layers right now and doesn't make any sense. Like, because it's in layers they're going to cut what's old i mean what's old what's yeah what's old what's um not healthy so because of that it's going to have to be really short and i've never had short hair in my life like right now i feel like i feel like a grown grown dora um so yeah so i'm gonna just have to say bye bye to my hair and i'm sorry mom dad <laughs> They, they don't like short hair, but it's for my own good, for my own hair, um, brown hair, because it's really, it's really dry. I'm right, going in with my, I don't know. So when I was younger, I had a bad habit of eating toilet paper. I know it sounds super gross, but I remember my cousin and I would like go in her restroom but like back um so i used to live in el salvador for um so that's where my parents are from el salvador i used to live um in el salvador for i think i lived there for two or three years when i was when i was little and um i remember um i remember like going in her going in her bathroom and like just sitting there and eating toilet paper it was like was so good at this point i have a really bad habit of like chewing little things it's so bad and um yeah i remember just doing that when i was when i was younger with her and <laughs> eating toilet paper i know it's super gross super embarrassing but just the things that you do as a child right eating eating weird things and to me at this point i'm just Ow. to me at this point sometimes i'm like i want to eat toilet paper but i'm like no i can't do that i'm too grown to be doing that stuff <laughs> i'm too grown so for my under eyes guys i know you guys never see me do anything but when i do shower and like i do go with my moisturizer i always go in i always go in with this one this is the artistry hydra v refreshing eye gel cream and it's really good for your under eyes 
it helps it prevents wrinkles and it also prevents um dark circles and um you know i ain't trying to get wrinkly at a young age so you know i'm starting off young now that i can and um just just um you know prevent those wrinkles from coming in and also getting those dark circles because sometimes i'd be staying up late and i can't be you know this is how i apply my foundation it's not the first time but yeah so so yeah when i was like really young i just would eat toilet paper with my cousin and <laughs> i wonder if she still remembers that and um i've heard of some people eating dirt when they were little but that is just that's um that's on a whole nother level i i am not eating dirt but yeah so i feel like we all have the that weird stuff i remember in second grade this i went to school with um this kid named troy and i remember he would eat glue like the that glue um what is that elmer's glue yeah yeah elmer's glue he would like pour the bottle and like go like this and eat that thing i was like i hope he's okay hopefully he doesn't um but yeah i remember he would eat that glue and i don't know if he did it to look cool or because he had you know like we all have that weird not i wouldn't call it fetish but we all desire yeah i guess desire fantasy i don't know not fantasy nothing sexual um uh we all have that you know weird yeah weird fetish of eating things like that but i don't like this this beauty blender it's not good i feel like it's not I'm not I'm not able to, to just go in there good all right so now that I did that I'm going to add some concealer and So as you can see, I do apply my concealer now differently. Um, you know, like I said, trying to keep up with the trend. And I feel like it does, it does, does actually work even better. Hi right, guys, so. This is, I actually like this. It looks like the other one that I did before, but I feel like the other one was a little different than this one. Last time. <laughs> Last time I really went really heavy on my, I went really heavy with applying the contour. I don't know. I don't know what happened to me. So. I am just applying it like that. Make a little fish face. So you always want to apply like all the way up here because if you bring it down here, your face is going to look dragged down. So. with a smaller brush I'm going to contour my nose 
so that way it can look slightly so it's a little bronzy as well and since I don't have my since I don't have my rose done I can just I'll bring it from that's from up here With the translucent powder i am going in with a little bit i don't want to add any eyeliner at the bottom of my waterline so i'm going in with <clears throat> the uh, i'm going in with the color i want to go in with the color vineyard escape it's this color right over here it's a darker color so i feel, ooh, I feel like that color would look really 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 cute with the waterline where the waterline is a different type of spoolie brush this turned out really good I really like it guys I'm like starving I can't wait to go downstairs and make some food I like to also apply my mascara like this with the spoolie like that that way it gives it that extra look so you see the difference is mascara does some wonders so I'm just applying it on my apples of my cheeks pink lipstick on my lips i do not like how i look it just does not look good on on a person of my skin tone so all right so now i'm just cleaning it up a little bit
right guys so this is the final look let me know what you guys think down below but yeah guys thank you for watching and sticking around don't forget to like comment subscribe and hit that bell notification thank you